Hello everyone. Welcome to Akshar Shala. Today we are going to learn about the divisibility test. Divisibility tests are of great importance during our exams when we are asked to check the divisibility of large numbers. It is very difficult to divide the whole number and check its divisibility. So we use these divisibility tests. Today we are going to learn the divisibility test of 2, 4 and 8. Starting with divisibility test of 2. The rule says that for a number to be divisible by 2, the digit at unit's place of that number should be divisible by 2. For example, we take the number 32. The number at unit's place of 32 is 2. Therefore, we can say that 32 is divisible by 2. Similarly, when we have large numbers, we check the digit at the unit's place. For example, in the number 245678, the number at unit's place is 8 and 8 is divisible by 2. Therefore, we can say that the number is divisible by 2. Now we take another example. We have a number 4567. The digit at unit's place of the number is 7 and 7 is not divisible by 2. Therefore, we can say that the number is not divisible by 2. Heading on to the divisibility test of 4. The rule says that for a number to be divisible by 4, the last two digits of the number should be divisible by 4. For example, we take a number 464. The last two digits of the number are 64. And 64 is 16 times divisible by 4. Therefore, we can say that the number 464 is divisible by 4. Taking another example, we have a number 234572. The last two digits of this number are 72. And 72 is divisible by 4, 18 times. Therefore, the number is divisible by 4. Now we have a number 234566. The last two digits of this number are 66. And we know that 66 is not divisible by 4. Therefore, the number 234566 is not divisible by 4. Now we have the divisibility test of 8. Here, the rule says that for a number to be divisible by 8, the last three digits of the number should be divisible by 8. Heading on to examples, we have our first example, number 23432. The last three digits of this number are 432. And we can see that 432 is 54 times divisible by 8. Therefore, the number is divisible by 8. Taking our next example, we have a larger number. So we just see the last three digits of the number and check the divisibility by 8. If they are divisible by 8, then the whole number is divisible by 8. If not, then the number is not divisible by 8. We have a number 2376545. The last three digits are 545 and 545 is not divisible by 8. Therefore, the number is not divisible by 8. In the end, I would like to tell you a few points that you should always remember. First, if the last digit of a number is 0, then it will always be divisible by 2. If the last two digits of that number are 0, then it will always be divisible by 4. And if the last three digits of that number are 0, then it will always be divisible by 8. I hope that this concept is clear. Keep learning till the next time. And thank you for watching.